Hey guys, Chris Lopez, certified turbulence trainer here, and I'm gonna take you through a TRX circuit. What I want you to do is perform 10 reps per side, if that applies, per exercise, okay? So, first exercise, we're gonna do a Bulgarian split squat. On your TRX, you've got these little handy uh, soft loops in there. You're gonna take your back foot, and you're gonna put them through the soft loop, you're gonna put them through both of them. So I am going to do that right now with my visors in there. Okay, so remember with the Bulgarian split squat, you really want to make sure that you've got all your weight focused on that working leg and you want to keep your back as straight as possible. So try not to hunch over. So chest out, shoulders back, you're going to drive down, keeping your chest up nice and high, get, that, get the back knee as low as you can, and then right back up. And you're going to do 10 reps of these. Okay, so immediately after that, you're going to switch over to the other side. Once you've done the other side, we're going to go into TRX rows. Now with the rows, what I want you to do is try to keep your legs nice and straight, and then you're going to pull and squeeze your shoulder blades down and back, keeping a nice high bridge in your glutes. So I'm going to be here, I've got my body nice and straight, squeezing my glutes, and I'm going to pull up. And what you want to think about when you're doing those uh, TRX rows is that the inverted rows is that you want to try to get your thumbs in and around your pec area so that you're making sure that you're really opening up your chest. After the inverted rows, you're going to do atomic push-ups. So you're going to take one foot in on one side, and then get the other foot in on the other side. Stabilize nice and tight. I've got 20, I've got a couple of hex dumbbells here to stabilize my wrists because I've got some wrist, wrist issues right now with your atomic push-ups. You're going to Get up nice and high, push up down nice and low, and then bring your knees in into a pike. Now if you want, you can also do a Spider-Man push-up. Where your hip just externally rotates and you bring one knee in as you come down. After the atomic push-up, we're gonna go right into leg curls. So Line down your back, heels in the straps, palms down, you're going to bridge your hips up nice and high, and you're going to pull in, and then right back. After the curls, the next exercise is an upper body or an upper back exercise. You're going to do a TRXY, so you may want to Pull the straps up a little bit higher. And this exercise is similar to a rear delt raise, except you're standing up and you're using your body weight. So I'm going to be in this position here. My heels are going to be on the ground. And I'm going to go up into the Y position, like YMC, actually I'm rotating my shoulders. Okay, after the wide, we're going to get back down on the floor and we're going to do some pikes. So, another ab exercise. So, I've got my wrist stabilizers here, bracing my abs. And then to finish, we're going to do an arm superset. So, first, we're going to do some tricep extensions and then we're going to do some bicep curls. So, again, I'm going to take the TRX, bring it up to its highest setting. And with the tricep extensions, you make, want to make sure that you're leaning forward, keeping your elbows nice and tight, keeping your shoulders down and back, and then you're going to sink all the way down so that you're flexing at your elbows, and then full extension all the way up, keeping your wrist at neutral. And then bicep curls are pretty self-explanatory. You're going to get back into that lean, get a supinated grip and an underhand grip, your palms are going to go up, I lay my heels on the ground for pivot, and then I'm just going to curl. So there's a quick TRX circuit that you can do pretty much anywhere as long as you've got your TRX and some place to hang it from. I'm Chris Lopez, Certified Turbulence Trainer, and that's a great TRX circuit.